Another home game and another home victory for the Bucks. They've extended their unbeaten home record to four games out of four and beat Ashton United 2-1 this afternoon. And I have manager Gavin Cowan with me. Um, Gavin, a bit of a different victory to some of those we've seen so far this season, but got there in the end. Yeah, I thought, um, you know, testament to the lads, I thought they showed fantastic character, um, fa fantastic togetherness. Because what Ashton did today, I thought, and I thought they did it brilliantly well, is they posed a different threat to us. You know, they tried to play football, um, but also out of possession, they made life very, very difficult for us to get into our patterns. And um, you know, the lads showed brilliant patience and character to overcome that and get the deserved win. Sure. I mean, is that what you'd sort of like put the first half down to? I mean, different to last Saturday, for example, where you know you very quickly at the blocks against Chester. You had to be a little more patient this time. Well, I thought we were quickly at the blocks today. I thought we, we really tried to do that. I think more credit needs to go to. Ashton, you know, I thought they were superb and, and the way they've set up with their, you know, their, I know their manager really well, Jody Bannon, and the way he set them up is, you know, real testament to them. I think he's, he said to me that, you know, the only thing he doesn't want to be is a soft touch now. And I, I don't think they showed that at all. I think, um, you know, they, they came and they, they played brilliantly well and we, we couldn't move the ball quick enough. We got a bit of water on the pitch at half time, couldn't move the ball quick enough. We, you know, it was, um, it was tough to get at them because they were, they were making, there was not really any gaps and we were trying to get from one side to the next and it's just proving really difficult, you know, and um, teams aren't going to come here now. They've, they've seen the good start that we've had and they're not going to come here anymore and play expansive, you know, they want to make life difficult. But again, a different test, but another test that's been thrown at, at the lads and, and they've coped with it and got a win. Sure, I mean, I thought that, you know, during the second half, especially, you know, with a 100% home record now and being second in the table, I know you don't look at tables, um, but teams are going to, see that coming to Telford is going to be a tough proposition so you know fans are going to have to learn to be a bit more patient with some games you know with, with as teams come and perhaps try and set up defensively against Absolutely. us. Absolutely I've just, I've just said in my interview there you know understandably you know some of the supporters were getting a little bit impatient but you know you, you look at the, the supporters behind the goal you know the beating the drum and the continuous singing and I genuinely believe they sucked that ball into the net you know I know it was quite fortuitous but you know they just did not stop and whilst it was happening I knew, I knew we were going to win the game because we were 1-0 down the players were trying to move the ball quickly and, and whilst the supporters do that it, it, it really it, it's hard for people to understand but human behaviour tells you that the, the opposition won't come it won't be as upbeat as what they were you know so it was brilliant because they kept going on and on and singing and singing and singing and it really gives us that momentum and that impetus to carry on because it shows belief you know it shows belief and the players feel like you know that, that they've got someone backing them and, and credit really goes to the supporters I, you know I, I know Daniel will dedicate that first goal to them because that was um I genuinely believe that was them sucking it into the net and I can't, I can't um, show enough thanks to the supporters, everyone around the ground today for how they stuck with us when we were 1-0 down. Even though we were playing, I thought we were playing extremely well. You know, if, the, if it had ended up 1-0 today, I thought the performance was excellent. Um, just little areas where we need to move the ball a bit quicker. But, you know, after that today, it's, um, you know, that goes to the fans, that one. Sure. As you said, perhaps a little bit of fortune with Daniel Udo's opening goal there. Um, but, you know, you, you have to work hard to, for that kind of thing to happen, don't you? Well, if he doesn't chase it, it doesn't hit him and go in. You know, you have to do that. And um, that's just down to working smart and working hard. So, you know, I don't, I'm not a big believer in luck. I think, yeah, you, you, you work hard, you work smart, you get your rewards. And that's what I think you saw today. Sure, OK. And obviously a little bit unfortunate for Ashton and Abden just used the last two substitutes to then have a man injured. But that makes them, again, 10 men, one each. That makes them difficult to play against, doesn't it? I'll be honest. It was. I, I thought it was more difficult for us with them going down to ten men. I, I, I think playing with eleven would have made life a, a little bit. I, I just I, and I think that's psychological. You know, I think it's psychological when you've got the opposition and they go down to ten men. They they have to try that extra bit harder, so they know throw another twenty five percent hit. Um, you know, and, and, and there's a lot more pressure on us because we expect there's a lot of expectation. So. Yeah, if anything, it made it harder. But you know, I, I feel even with ten or eleven men on the pitch, I think uh, for Ashton, I think we'd have gone on one in the game personally. Sure. Okay. So, eight games, the run stands out now, and obviously we're not getting too caught up in that. But um, have the players set themselves a, a target for September the same way they did for August? Yeah, yeah. They, they come up with it. They did it themselves. I wrote it out for them and um, stood out the way after we'd done analysis at Lillishall on um, on uh, Thursday night, and they come up with a, with, a, with a number that was a little bit more. Um, Likely, uh, should I say? Okay. <laughs> now, now we can read into it, but yeah, it's one that shows a lot of ambition, um, but a lot of realism as well. So I'm excited to see if they can uh, hit their targets again. Sure. Okay. And tough away trip next week to Darlington. It's yeah. a long distance, but having gone to Spennymoor a couple of weeks ago, we know that you know it's about 
turning up on the day, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no excuses. You know, when they, when they sign for the football club, they sign up for trips away to Darlington. So we can't make any excuses about distances. If anything, it gives them more time to relax. You know, our coach is a very luxurious one. Uh, Longman send us like a, a, a brilliant little coach, and uh, I say little coach, massive coach. Um, and we're really lucky. We, you know, we travel in luxury, and and the lads get a lot of lot of um, time to move about and relax. And so, if anything, it's um, it's good for them. So yeah, there'll be no excuses. We'll ex we'll expect to go there and, um, and 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 put them in a real good performance. Okay, that's great. Congratulations today, Gavin. Well Thank done. You. Thanks. Cheers.